We will be performing Act 3, Scene 3 of The Merry Wives of Windsor. I'll be playing Sir John Falstaff. I will be playing Mistress Ford. And I'll be playing Mistress Page. Don't tell your master I am alone. Mistress Page, remember your cue? I warrant thee, if I do not act it. Piss me. Go to then. We'll use this unwholesome humidity, this gross, watery pumpkin. We shall teach him to know turtles from jays. Oh! Have I caught thee, my heavenly jewel? Why, now let me die, for I have lived long enough. This is the period of my ambition. Oh, this is a blessed hour. Oh, sweet Sir John. Mistress Ford, I cannot hug. I cannot prate. Why, now let me sin in my wish. I would thy husband were dead. I would speak it before the best lords. I would make thee my lady. Ah, your lady, Sir John. Alas, I should make a pitiful lady. Let the court of France show me another. I see how thine arched beauty of the brow would make a ship tire, a tire valiant, or any tire of Venetian admittance. A plain kerchief, Sir John. My brow becomes nothing else. By the Lord, thou art a tyrant to say so. Thou canst not hide it. Believe me, there's no such thing in me. What made me love you? Let that persuade thee that there's something extraordinary in thee. Please, I cannot cog and say thou art this and that like many lisping hawthorn buds. I cannot. But I love thee and none but thee, and thou hast deserved it. Do not betray me, sir. I fear you love Mistress Page. Thou mightst as well say I love to walk by the counter gate, which is as hateful to me as the reek of a lime cake. Well, heaven knows how I love thee, and one day you shall find it. In that mind, I'll deserve it. Uh, nay, I tell you, so you do, else I would have not been in that mind. Mistress Ford, Mistress Ford, here's Mistress Page at the door, sweating and blowing and looking wildly. She shall not see me. I'll unconst behind the heiress. Pray you do so, she's a very talented woman. What's the matter? How now? Oh, Mistress Ford, what have you done? You're shamed, you're overthrown, you're undone forever. What's the matter, Mistress Page? Oh, well, indeed, Mistress Ford, having an honest man to your husband to give him such cause of suspicion. What cause of suspicion? What cause of suspicion? Out upon you. How have I mistook in you? Why, alas, what's the matter? Your husband's coming hither, woman, <gasps> with all the officers in Windsor to search for a gentleman that he says is here now in the house. By your consent to take an ill advantage of his absence, you are undone. Speak louder. Tis not so, I hope. Oh. Pray heaven it be not so that you have such a man oh. here. Oh. But tis most certain your husband is coming with half Windsor at his heels to search for such a one. I come before to tell you, if you know yourself clear, why, I am glad of it. But if you have a friend here, convey, convey him out. Be not amazed. Call all your senses to you. Defend your reputation, or bid farewell to your good life forever. Oh, whatever shall I do? <laughs> Call your men. 